Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss how to dynamically populate the values into a drop-down field. This was one of the question asked by the viewer, Satish. In this program, how to set default drop-down value? I have hard-coded the data. He is asking. It's hard-coded. How can we do this with the backend value so drop-down will populate dynamically? So now we'll discuss this. I know I'll be taking the doubts, whatever the viewers have questions. I'll be trying to answer the few of the questions I didn't answer. Please, I'll apologize for that. I'll try to answer as many as I can. But for now, we'll see this. Here, I have created two files, HTML file, which will be the UI design and the JS file, which will give us the dynamically value creation, right? First, let me write the uh, dropdown file. This was a dropdown which I have used for hard coding the data. Let me copy this. Let me paste it here. And the source value will be this dynamic dropdown.js. So let me write that dynamic dropdown.js now here here my select options will change according to the drop down value so now let me remove this select or let me just remove the options now we'll take id as we'll see the different kind of meals we'll see vegetables fruit items we'll have different drop downs so that user can dynamically select a drop down okay so now let me write this one as a mean and uh, if you want uh, we can add a name also name as uh, different meals different meals or maybe i can give as a meal only <laughs> it's not an issue so if you have id one id is more than enough so on change get selected value was the thing so now here we have to write a function so simply i'll write a function change drop down value so i have to pass a value here based on this value it will change let me copy this let me paste it here to change drop down value so on click change on click change in sense if you select any drop down value it should change now here let me write the drop down we are getting simple drop down right okay normally we can use the same drop down or I, i'll just copy this so option should be dynamic so let me paste it here. So now, first one I'll write here inside. We have to define something. Let us write a value. So first value I'll give as null. So if I give as null, it should be disabled. Disabled, and uh, let us write selected by default should be selected and the value should be select now second one value i'll be writing as fruits f r u i t s so if we set the value fruit now the dynamic populated should be a fruit right so let me just copy this let me write here as fruits third value let me write another value so i'll write vegetables so i'll be writing here vegetables so i'll copy the same here so i'll paste it here and fruits vegetables maybe we can see one more option right or two more option doesn't matter so i'll write here value as uh, places so now here i should be getting the places or maybe this one can be countries and i can write countries here maybe three values are more than enough right so let us take only three values right now let us take one more select so this is the simple select right so let me select uh, write one more select and this should be adjacent value right so let let us take select now in this select the same option first option will be disabled so as soon as you open the screen so it should only come two selects right 
here i will be giving the id and the name are different instead of meal right i can since i have used fruits vegetables and countries i'll just add common something common value something because meal doesn't look good right so let let this be a category and the name also let be category be category and let me save the and save this one if i just open this right so dynamic drop down if i just open this it will be like this here nothing will be there so fruits vegetables and countries right by default select is disabled and it will be there by default if you just reload it that will be there by default anyway and here i'll write one more thing right so i'll write a label so that it, it would look good right like let me write it so label should must be for the name common so i'll write uh, for equal to this i'll write common so i'll write choose uh, choose a value that would be good right so choose a value so let's see uh, so i'm just making the ui more reasonable okay choose a value so this should be based on the value based on the selected value this drop down should come up so i'll write here one more label so after this uh, maybe i can write a break also right let me write a break two breaks it will come in a different line so i'll write uh, id for category value selected value displayed based on common based on common drop down something like that okay so let me save this so let me reload it here so if i select this so something should be selected here so okay this looks a uh, little bit okay right now our main uh, j js file we have to write now so this is the big one let me write an array value where we can populate the data right so so let me write uh, var common common value something like that right <laughs> um so here this should be a, an array but in an object object will be an array the first one what we have selected right fruits okay so i should be giving as fruits so colon and it should be an array okay so then i'll write a comma second value let me take vegetables so let me take vegetables um it should be an array uh, so third value is countries so let me add fruits it's apple it's the best fruit maybe two values per drop down i can write right so i'll write uh, mango not mango db mango here yeah. so vegetables let me write uh, brinjal something like that carrot something like that okay. so countries i'll write uh, india and i'll write uh, so us something like that so okay we got our uh, object with populated arrays now here i have to write my function okay so the function will take value right based on the value only it will come so i'll write here value so it will take okay value something like that okay so here so if i write if value dot length so whatever the value we give nothing equal to equal to 0 then what we will do we have to write um, document dot get element by id so this is where id is very useful right so what id we are using here so category is an id so category is an id so we are tell basically telling document dot element get category dot inner html to populate uh, nothing <laughs> so just don't populate anything right so just write double quotes so i'm just writing here option and uh, close the option if the value if the length is uh, there don't do anything okay so now here comes else category else is everything else is everything in sense if even if the value is 1 we have to write uh, var uh, options common options all right let 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 us write common options is null so these are the options which are going to be populated now here i have to write a for loop because we are selecting more than one right so here i'll write for in loop right 
so I'll write category ID in um, common values of value. So which value he has entered. If the value can be fruits, value can be this, value can be that. Anyway, I'll write common options. So all the time I have to increment if the option is there, right? So I'll write common options equal to common options plus. Instead of that, I can just write common options plus equal to. Here I have to populate the main thing, right? So I have to tell option. So here I'm dynamically entering here. See this. So plus. Now I have to copy this common value. So common value, common value of fruits and also by category ID. So don't enter everything in my jumble words. Okay. Just give a break. Enter the value. Here I have to enter the category ID. Okay. Category ID and then close the option. That's it. As simple as that. So I'll put plus here. I'll put here options. But this will be a close option. Close the tag. Just close this tag now. Okay. Into the for loop. After this I write document dot get element by ID. What ID we need? ID of category. So just write copy this. So we don't need, we'll, we need in double quotes, category dot in a HTML equal to what? Equal to common options. So all the time enter it. Uh, yeah, here I have to do one more change because I have not given here the value. So I have to write this dot value. I just copy this. I'll just paste it here. So now hopefully this should work so let me open this reload it so let me select fruits so it should should come apple and mango right let me say vegetables now it should come brinjal and carrot let me say countries now india and us this is a very simple um, way of having the dynamically displaying of the drop down values Hope you have liked this video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.